When it comes to memory, how does our brain keep track of the order of events? These are where time cells come into play. These cells are located in the hippocampus, which is an area of the brain crucial in forming memories. Time cells act like the brain's internal stopwatch, firing at specific moments during an experience to create a timeline that helps us remember the order of events, thus making sense of our past. So how did researchers discover time cells? They recorded brain activity from epilepsy patients performing memory tasks where they recalled a list of words presented to them and then broke each trial into small time bins, like dividing a movie into frames, and then calculated how active each neuron was in each bin. To confirm a neuron was truly tracking time, they used a shuffle test where they randomly shifted the neuron's activity in time a thousand times. If the real data showed stronger time-related firing than the shuffled versions, it ruled out the possibility of any firing patterns being due to random chance, confirming the neuron was a true time cell. Looking at memory on an individual neuron level would allow us to better understand the mechanisms behind normal brain function, enabling us to maybe target those same mechanisms when they don't function properly through advanced brain-computer interfaces or new neuromodulation techniques. In other words, time cells might not just help us remember the past, they could help us build the future. And this video, it's just the beginning. We're entering an era where we don't just observe the brain, we can interact with it. Where we don't just ask what the brain knows, we ask how it knows. So if you're curious about brain mapping, memory decoding, and the future of brain-computer interface technologies, then stay tuned for more science videos.